Hello everybody and welcome back to Carmsden Farm. Now today I think we should probably focus on the sheep. We don't have any sheep yet, but we don't really want to have sheep before we have the grass bales. And there is actually, surprisingly, still some grass left, even though it is November. So I think the best thing to do is to go over to the sheep pasture for number 31. Just teleport over to it to begin with. And you can see it's a big area. And this grass is just going to go to waste over the winter time. So it is best if I cut it, row it up and bale it, and then we can feed it to the sheep over the winter. Now I know that if you were to bale a load of grass and then just leave it in a shed over winter, it would start to heat up and rot away. Uh, and I shouldn't really do this, I should have hay, ideally. We do have some hay, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think, to feed the cows and the sheep over the winter time. So we're just going to have to do this. I'm not going to make a habit of it. I'm not going to make a habit of just doing grass bells for winter storage but I think if we don't do it like this today we're never going to get it done so this is a one-off anyway how do we get into fill number 31 I think there's a gate down here I believe we have a gate on the right hand side we do indeed and as soon as I've made these bales we can buy the sheep I'm keeping a very close eye on the price of barley because that's what we have to sell the price is best in January, so that is the time we're most likely going to sell. Okay, right, so let's unfold these mowers. So nice to have the butterfly mowers because it just gets things done much faster and I don't have to pay quite as much attention to where I am, where the tractor is uh, positioned because it's just going to mow a nice area. Not like the offset ones, the ones which just go down on one side. Okay, so there we go. Looking good. We do own one of the other fields, but we don't own another one. Uh, I think we own the one with the stable in, but we don't own the one with the jumps in. Got some horse jumps. I'm pretty sure we don't own it, but we do have access through it. Uh, the other rush, of course, is the rain. We, we do have rain coming very soon, so we have to get this done really quickly. And, to be fair, actually, to play more realistically, we probably wouldn't do hay at this time of year, because it is November, it's going to be pretty damp. It's never really going to dry out, so... The only unrealistic aspect would be the storing of it for many months. There is the feed trough and the water trough, so... We'll need them later. You'll notice I'm not really going right to the edges because we're not super desperate. What we cut is going to be more than enough and yeah it really wants to be hay which we cut in the spring. But that should be good. Yeah, that's good. So, I will continue mowing. I'll then get a windrow. And then we can get a baler. Well, we, we actually own the baler, which is nice. It's good that we start off with it. So it's going to be some round bales. And they're going to be put in the same shed as the hay. Uh, another option would be to turn them into silage. If we do think that the uh, storing of grass bells is too unrealistic. Because um, we do need silage bells, actually. The cows require silage. So we need that just as much as the grass. We'll see. It depends how much it would be to rent a, a wrapper. It's not really a very big area to justify renting a wrapper.
Okay, so we are losing the light pretty quickly. Just going to turn these barn lights on, so it's not totally dark when we get back. Um, so yes, we have. Uh, well, I don't think we have. Do we have a windrower? No, we don't. Pretty sure we don't. Uh, but we do have a tether, which will be required in the spring. Anything in the sale? Nope. Would have been good. Um, so let's just take a look here at the windrows. We're going to need a windrow so much it would be good just to buy one instead of renting it. Um, right. Interesting. We really want to have that one. The one which we're about to sell on uh, my other Let's Play. So money is going to be a problem there. However, I know that we do have a cultivator to sell. We actually don't need this cultivator. Because from now on, everything is just going to be subsoil with a 9 meter subsoiler. So we don't need the all-rounder. Uh, so I'm going to very quickly get that attack. We'll put it on the fence, I think, because we do need to do the wind drawing with the fence. And hopefully that is going to give us, well, it will definitely give us enough money to be able to buy the, uh, the wind drawer. That's good. We don't own the subsoiler, but we don't need to buy that until next, uh, actually it will be next autumn. Yeah, next autumn when we do all the cultivation work again. And it's not actually that expensive anyway, so that's not a problem. My biggest concern at the moment is the light. We are losing it, and yes, the next time we rest, it's going to be December. And I do not want to be bailing grass bales in December. So, yes, I will see you over at the store. See how much we can get for this. Next thing will be it'll be raining. It will be raining probably in the next 10 minutes. So, yeah, really quickly gets into here and yes it was a last second decision this uh, just because I saw the field and I didn't want to waste it I'm going to repair it and I'm going to repaint it oh wow it's actually worth loads so handy right so 44,000 uh, we could go for an even bigger windrow but I'm not going to because I know that we need the money for other stuff I've just caused problems further down the line this is perfect this is good and yes, for this tiny field, well it's not tiny, but this field, uh, this is just the right size. I expect the rain will be here at four-ish. That's what the forecast was showing, so uh, yeah, if I just work fast, it shouldn't be a problem. We do still have some sunshine which is promising. Sorry for the erratic driving, I am in a big hurry. Okay, right, so, the wind drawing begins. Turn those beacons off. Yeah, it was a bit of a brainwave and I'm pleased that I had it ready because this would have been wasted and I think uh, well, we'd have had to wait until the spring to get the sheep, because as I said, we don't have enough hay to go around. Unless, of course, we bought it, but that would be super expensive. Uh, so, this has enabled us to buy sheep this side of New Year, uh, which is good. Because I, I do want to get the sheep, we need to be able to produce some wool. I think it's about the same working width as the mowers, so take a little bit longer because I think we're going a bit slower. But that's good, that is a good windrower. I'm sure eventually we will upgrade it. Uh, not quite to the same sort of size that we're looking for on uh, o Bailey. Um, yes, I'm looking for the biggest on there, but for this one, probably just a few meters, well, like a meter bigger, probably. Right, so w once I've done this uh, windrowing around the troughs, it'll be much easier. It's going to be a bit hard to work around those. Just love these really vibrant autumnal colours. I'm guessing because it is going to be December in the next month, it's going to be very different. 
probably have hardly any leaves left. This tree here has already lost almost all of its leaves. Very sparse. Well, as you can see, the rain is coming down very heavily now. Um, so we're going to give it a quick break. Uh, we're going to have to bail in the dark, unfortunately. Which won't make for the best viewing. But it really shouldn't take too long. And we're going to be moving them all tomorrow, so that's fine. It's just today, I just want to get all of the, uh, all, all the bailing actually done. I'm sure they can stay in the field overnight. Uh, so... Pretty much done. I think I'll probably leave that. I can pick that up with the baler. So, fold it up. Put some more lights on. It's better. Much easier to see. And we can park this in the shed. Yeah, I checked the forecast, and it looks like it's not going to rain for more than one hour. So... <laughs> It should have stopped by 5, hopefully. It will be dark at 5, though. Okay, um, where can I put this? I think I'm going to keep this in the shed over here. Yep, it can go where the cultivator was. There we go. And yeah, I'm actually going to bail, I think, with the Massey Ferguson tractor. Oh, come on, rain, go away, please. Yeah, it's showing it's just cloudy at uh, 5 o'clock, so well, it's still sunny over there. We must be on the edge of a shower. I think what I'll do is I'll attach the baler. Then I'll sit in the barn and I will wait for the rain to stop. Because really we don't want to be bailing in the rain. We shouldn't have even been doing the windrowing in the rain. And the grass is already soaked but can't really do anything else about it. Okay, right. Uh, so we can set this up. We want to have the biggest bail capacity possible. Let's just see here. There we go. 180. That's the biggest. So, yeah, let me just wait for this to uh, clear away. I think it's stopping. It's not as heavy as it was, so let's go make a start. With a bit of luck, it will completely stop in the next few minutes. It is 5 o'clock, so see if that forecast is correct. Do you still have a bit of light? So how many bales do you think we're going to make? It's something that I ask in every single video. Uh, we do seem to be doing quite a few bales recently. But uh, I'd love to know. I'm going to guess at... Uh, six. Because they are pretty big bales. Uh, but we'll see. Do we have any more lights? Nope, that's everything. So we're fairly well illuminated. Automatic drop needs to be switched on. There we go. So here we go. Bale number one. 7,500 litres per bale. Pretty good. 
Yeah, it probably will be more than six, so if you want to guess higher, it might be a good idea to. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to time lapse and we'll get this done. We'll then rest and I will see you in the morning. Okay, right, so I've just retrieved the quad bike. I think I've finished the bailing, but I decided to keep the tractor and the baler in the field just in case I have missed something. We can go back for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and get the JCB as well. I'm not too sure if the JCB attaches to the low loader trailer. I hope it does. Uh, I put it in one of these two sheds. Must have been the other one. But there we go. My low loader trailer is over there, um, and yes, we should see a JCB in here. Yes, I can see it through the gap. <laughs> um, right, so how do you open the door? There we go. I'm really hoping it does fit to it. We're going to be bringing all the bales back up here. Except for one. Yes, there is, there's always going to be one because that has to... St oh, it goes on a three-point linkage, okay. Of the lower link arms. So that's not going to work, but not to worry because what I can possibly do is... Hmm, can I? No, maybe I can't. I was going to say put the JCB on the trailer, but... No. It's more for an implement. So, we're lucky. December is looking nice. Got some very nice weather today. But as predicted... The trees have lost almost all their leaves. Not a very hard prediction to make. <laughs> yes, uh, that'd be weird if the leaves were not falling off the trees in the winter. So, yeah, I'm interested to see how I did. It looks like I have missed a few pieces. But it doesn't matter. The sheep can pick over the bits that I've missed. Uh, the main thing is that I've picked up all the swaths that I have. And how many bows have we produced? Looks like quite a few. Definitely more than what I predicted. 12. Wow, double. Uh, well, that's very good. I will just get these uh, first two put onto the tines. Uh, I'm not too sure if I should store them flat or if I should keep them like this. I think I'll probably keep them like this. So, yes, what I can do is I can switch the engine off there, jump back into the Massey Ferguson, put the baler back in the shed, and then we can return with the trailer. Although, yes, the Massey Ferguson tractor is probably a little bit big. The fence would be more appropriate. And yeah, I won't bother going out of there. We do have 47% left in the baler. Ah, but what a difference it makes being daytime. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Yeah, I've mentioned before, I don't like doing videos in the dark, but I explained the situation, and it's just, it was for the best. Because now we have the whole of December to do other stuff. We've got the grass out of the way. We're going to be buying sheep very soon, in this episode. Go and pop this baler back where I got it from. Looks like the other crops are doing very well. We will have to start fertilising them. We're going to spray them. Uh, but that will likely be in February, March time. 
which I believe is about the right time to be doing that sort of thing. Uh, looks like I left the fence tractor's lights on. Whoops. Uh, we can also turn these lights off now. Even in the winter it looks nice. Really nice landscape. Uh, I shouldn't really have all these lights on. Yeah, if I had put those bells flat, it actually probably would work better with the transportation. Uh, we probably can store them flat as well, so maybe I will do. I'm just wondering. Um, yeah, how many straps does it give us? Oh, quite a few. In that case, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can do it the normal way. I'll just have to try it out. here. Uh, it might be easier to detach the tractor. Look at the size of these bales. They're so big. Um, yeah, because we're actually going to struggle, I think, to get three on there. Crikey. If we can get three per side and then stack be pretty good uh, but if we can't do it's not so good oh look at the sun shining through that tree it is distractingly beautiful I just dropped the bale uh, looks like we might get them on oh whoops <laughs> yes as I said pushing the other ones off uh, yeah it's looking promising. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so what I would do is I'll put a strap around there. Uh, we'll put a strap around the back as well. And I can put another three onto there. We can put another uh, five on top, I believe. It's pretty good going. Not too short. Yeah, I think... Yes, because we, because we can put another one on the pallet fork or the bell spike on the way back. We should be able to take all the bales in one go. And then I'm going to store them in that shed. The shed where the JCB came from. Although it's not, that is not taking into account the one which has to stay here anyway, so... Yeah, they should all fit on the trailer. It's like a glove. Great, and it's keeping it really neat as well. Now, we can't actually give the sheep the food until we have the sheep. Because uh, obviously we can't decide how much we need. Oh, a bit of grass has been missed there. Well, next time I'm passing with a front loader, with a bucket, I will uh, scoop it up. few on here now. We can still go higher. Um, I don't think it'll be an issue because it's such a, a low loader, which is uh, probably where it got its name from. Uh, yeah, the centre of gravity is not going to be anywhere near what it would be with a standard bale trailer. Yeah, we'll flip it over very easily with a standard trailer. Uh, it's more the weight actually because a lot of the weight goes onto the tractor's rear axle. Hopefully it can lift it. But that's going to have to do it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, and um, make it a bit neater. That's better. Strap over the center. Perfect. So, can it lift it up? Let's take a look. Yes, it can. I think it's quite light on the front, uh, but that's good. So, what do we have left? I think we've got. We should have one bale. 
my calculations are correct, which they're normally not. Uh, yeah, yes, we have the one bale. So that one bale is going to be for the sheep straight away. We might need to take a bale back off the trailer. Just depends. I would have thought seven and a half thousand liters would be enough, but you never know. Luckily, we've managed to get quite a bit of money in from the cultivator, which has been very handy. Okay, right, so we're going to have to run over to the gate, that's where we're buying them from. And yeah, also we're going to have to look and see what the best type of sheep is. I'm sure there's going to be a bit of a selection, quite a variety. Yeah, so um, we have lambs and we have sheep. So you can pay less to have a lamb, you've got to wait for it to grow up though. Uh, so I think we'll have a mixture, because you can see we've got a capacity of 200. Um, so I'm going to go for, well, which type? I'm just going to go for, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what a selection. Uh, I'm going to go for these. And we're going to buy, these are the lambs to begin with. I can't go too crazy, because we obviously don't have that much money, but I think 35, let's see here. 40. 40 of those. And a fully... Well, not a fully grown one, but one which can uh, reproduce. Uh, it's, it's reached its breeding age. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, how many should I buy? Not 40, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, probably 15. Hmm, although the others will grow up. Ten. We'll just have ten. We can always buy more later. So that's 50 sheep. I think that's a good number to start off with. So, as for the food, hello. How are you? I'm sure you're fine. Yeah, so we need water. Uh, we're gonna have to... I think, I think what I'll probably do is... I will try and download a different water tank in between this episode and the next one. That didn't take much. We have four and a half thousand litres left. Well, we can keep this bale here. Although, actually, there is that smaller tanker. I believe. Let's take a look here. Yes, this. Right, so I think the only difference is the capacity. This is a very nice, cheap... Alternative to the really big tankers. Uh, and, oh, you never know, actually. You might be able to turn it with the quad bike. £3,000. Uh, water fill points on this map? I don't know. I haven't actually looked into that. Let's just go and take this back over to the other farm. Yeah, I don't... I don't know if I should keep them on the trailer or not, actually. I was going to take them all off, but then again... Maybe it would be easier to keep them on the trailer. Yeah, I'm going to keep, well, I'm going to keep them on the trailer for now. Um, and then probably in the future they can be taken off. The priority is the water. See how stable it is. Very stable. Very heavy, though. That's 82,500 litres of grass. I think the cows can be fed grass as well, but it's not very effective. Okay, we're going to have a clearance issue here. Sorry, top bale. You're going to have to... <laughs> uh, you're going to have to duck. Just park it there. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I believe... I'm still allowed to tab. I did a vote on this, and tabbing is still allowed. So we'll keep tabbing. I'll see you over at the store.
Nice, that is perfect. So my uh, vehicle of choice to commute with is also now uh, doubling up as the sheep trough filler. It's gonna give water to the sheep. Uh, yes, yeah, so actually I hadn't even thought of the uh, water fill points on this map. So I know that we do have a river, a stream. Uh, there probably is actually some water fill points in the yard. But I think I'm going to go to the stream because I'm really close and it'd be fun. Ah, oh, there it is. But it, it costs money. So, yep, that is the water fill point. We're not using it. Although, I don't know how to get down there. How can I get down to the river? It must be possible. We want free water. This looks to be a fairly well-worn track. Yep, okay. So here we go. The water. Lovely. I just need to find a good place to reverse in. I think probably here should be okay. Doesn't look to be that steep. And that's filling up. Because we have a pump, we've got an engine on board. Uh, it really is the best setup we could ask for. Two, just over 2,000 litres. didn't actually think we would be using the quad bike for an actual job, I thought it would just be for getting around on. So this is really good. And here we go. Deliver it to the sheep. Uh, I'm not too sure which side to be on, but I'm sure it will become very clear. It was always going to be the other side. There we go. That's plenty. Leave it with some. So there we go. We're going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.